Although GoXLR is not designed to support wireless USB headsets, we can support the headphone component if you have an auxiliary input on your headset base. So for example, these Astro A50s, I've just pulled up the base here, it does have an aux input, which is a 3.5 millimeter cable. And GoXLR has a 3.5 millimeter headphone out. So you simply connect the cable between the headphone output on GoXLR and the aux input on the A50. And then everything that comes out of your headphone output on GoXLR goes directly to the aux input and gets sent to your wireless headset. That means all of the mute modes or levels or anything like that that you hear within GoXLR or that you've seen in the other videos will work perfectly. There is one caveat that the uh, microphone output will not work uh, because it will not go from the microphone to GoXLR's input. You could theoretically connect the optical out from the headset into the optical in, the, the console or PlayStation Xbox input on GoXLR, but it would not run through the EQ, the compressor, the de-esser, the voice effects, or the sampler. Uh, so it doesn't work in that function. If you did happen to have a, a line out on or auxiliary out on the uh, headphone amplifier here, if you had one in and one out, you could actually go headphone output from GoXLR to the auxiliary in, and then the line out could go back and come back in as a mic input. And you could do it the same way we do with the USB mics, which is, again, use another one of these 3.5 mil cables to come back in. But I believe that's a less common output mode to have on these uh, USB headsets. So you're going to be able to use the head the headphone part quite easily. The headset is a little bit trickier and less likely. When using a wireless headset, there's a couple of things to take into account. First, when you're connecting the base of your wireless headset, like we talked about, with a 3.5 millimeter cable, you're going to connect from the speaker out or the line out on GoXLR into the auxiliary input of that base. And that's going to send your signal from GoXLR to the auxiliary input of the wireless headset, and then that's going to send it out to your headphones. You may run into some buzzing while you're doing this. Now, buzzing is generally what's called a ground loop. There is potential difference between two different items in the signal path, and it's creating a buzz. You can buy on the internet for about 10 bucks a ground loop isolator, or people call it a GLI. It's essentially a little transformer in here that gets rid of the buzz. You want to put this thing at what we call the termination end or at the end of the signal. So your regular 3.5 millimeter goes into GoXLR and then you go all the way down the cable to where you're going to plug it into your headset base. That cable goes in one side of the GLI. Then it comes usually with a little cable or it might actually have the cable like built right in and just sticking out. You then plug the other cable into there and then this is what goes into the base of your headset and that will reduce ground hum in your system. So anything that's that kind of stuff will be gone. Secondly, with wireless headsets, they themselves have latency, which means it takes time for the wireless signal to travel through the, the transmitter, through the air, to the receiver in your headphones so that you can hear it. That will give you a perceived delay between your speaking and what you hear in your headphones. That is not the cause of GoXLR, but it is rather the cause of the wireless signal having to transmit from the wireless transmitter to the receiver in your headphones. 